Hello Virgo, this is Renee and welcome back. Virgo, this is going to be the next 48 hours. If you have Virgo anywhere in your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this reading is for you. What's going on the next 48 hours for Venus, for Virgo? Spirit, give me a message. Okay, let's get into it. What's going on for Virgo? Wow, okay. We have clear, cancel, and release. And this one wanted to come out as well. Friendship and union. At the bottom, we had divine timing. Okay, Virgo. So I feel like it's something... You, you may want to be going through your friends list. This may be important. There may be a time to clear out, to declutter, to move away from friends or unions that no longer serve you. I feel like this is something that you're clearing away. A new romantic cycle begins. Okay, so there's new love coming in for you as well. And we have the energy is gaining momentum. So I feel like this new love is coming very close to you. It may be... Coming more clear. The next 48 hours may be very vital if you're searching for love. More messages for Virgo, please. More messages for Virgo. Okay, we have facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So there's something that's changing. Some kind of spiritual changes. Now we also have phases and cycles. So look, there is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. So I, I feel like... You know, this facing your fear may have something to do with clearing and releasing these friends and unions. Something that you have decided to release and clear away. Um, I feel like that may have something to do with it. You know, you may have this new beginning, this new romantic venture because of something that you've had to clear away. You know, um... Very interesting, Virgo. Okay, let's get into the tarot. What do we have for Virgo? Next 48 hours. Message for Virgo. Okay, the Ten of Cups. Wow. Okay. The Temperance. Okay, and the Tower. Wow. Okay. Okay, now this is what I see, Virgo. I feel like happiness. You're gaining your happiness by releasing something that's kind of holding you back. That's keeping you in like this drama, this negative energy. You're, you're releasing this energy because you're trying to find your happiness. And you're willing to... Risk your balance. To find this happiness. This tower moment. This is you gaining your freedom from the situation. This is a big change. This this may be someone that you've known for a long time. But it, it feels like maybe you are coming to see that you kind of grew out of this person. You kind of grew out of this friendship. Out of this union. So you feel like in order to really pursue your happiness, to gain your harmony, this tower needs to crumble. It needs to come down. Changes need to be made, you know? Very interesting. Okay, with this romantic cycle begins, we have the magician, 
The Three of Cups. Wow. Okay. And we have the Four of Swords. So, Virgo, I feel like you're creating this. You're bringing this idea down to earth. There's something that you're creating. Because maybe you're wanting to be more around more like-minded people. So, I'm, I feel like you are changing your soul tribe, if that makes any sense. Because you're focusing on what you need. You're focusing on what is best for you. You know, you're kind of putting yourself first, Virgo. You're... You're kind of willing to go through this... manifestation to kind of gain a perspective interesting okay with this face and fear we have the hierophants we have the moon wow and we have the star look at all the major arcanas in this reading oh my gosh virgo this is important we have one two three Four, five, six, six major arcanas in this reading. There's only nine cards on the table of tarot. And six of them are major arcana. So I feel like this is a very strong message. With facing the facing your fear, I feel like with this hierophants, this is you maintaining your beliefs, standing on your morals. And I feel like maybe you've been kind of falling away from what you totally believe in because of maybe the people that you've been surrounding yourself with. But with the moon card, this is asking you to reevaluate. Take notice. You know, this is voluntary change. This is trusting your intuition. You know, standing on your morals, standing on your beliefs with this Hierophant, you know, your belief system. And I feel like with this star, it's asking you to put yourself ahead, ahead of everyone else. For a moment, take time to think about what is best for Virgo. Put yourself first, you know. Get whatever healing you need to get out of the situation. Feel renewed. You know. The star can also be finding your inner clarity. You know. It can also mean miracles. Or having faith. Being a spotlight. Wishing upon a star. But. What I'm really seeing is that this is really the need to put yourself first. Put your own needs first. You know, stand on what you know. Look at this. We have the hangman on the bottom. Very interesting. Don't sacrifice yourself. Virgo. You know, gain that inner wisdom of taking that quiet time alone and really thinking through this process. You know, changing your perspective on the situation. I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of clarity. You're going to hit that, that moment where you feel like, you know, I'm doing this for the right reasons. Underneath the hangman, you have the six of wands. So I feel like putting yourself first, you're recognizing yourself again. You, you are becoming noticed. I feel like you kind of notice yourself for once. And maybe you haven't done that in a while. But the six of wands is also being successful, having victory. You know, winning the battle. So I feel like, you know, finding your own perspective is half the battle. You know? Okay, let's get a little bit of clarity in your situation, Virgo.
Spirit, give me more messages for Virgo. Please clarify the Ten of Cups, the Temperance card, and the Tower. Give me more messages for this, please. The Ten of Cups, Temperance, and the Tower. Give me more messages. Okay, we have the, the Eight of Pentacles, the Star card again. Wow. And the King of Wands. Okay, so Virgo, I feel like, you know, you've been working on ways to make yourself happy for a while. You're trying to come into this understanding of how you can become more balanced. How you can find hope in your situation. And by, by releasing this negative energy by maybe clearing this energy, clearing away the things that you may have grew out of is going to bring you a lot more passion, a lot more stability, a lot more fire. You know, it's going to make you move into the situation. And I, I feel like you're you're gaining your freedom in your situation. But the King of Pound, excuse me, the King of Wands, the King of Wands is power. So I feel like by working on this situation, finding your happiness and working on your healing, you're gaining your power. You're gaining this courage, this drive, being your bold, unique self. You know, and I feel like you may not have felt that in a while. Okay, let's clarify this magician, the Three of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Let's clarify this magician, Three of Cups, Four of Swords, please. Okay, yeah, we have the Chariot, the Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. Definitely. Okay, so I feel like with this magician card, you're creating something. You're bringing something down to earth, and it's being... It's moving. You're moving in the right direction. You're moving to a path where you're, you know, finding more support, finding more people that are more like-minded, finding people who care about the same things you do, who feel the same values you do, who, you know, enjoy the same things you do. She's dipping her toes into this water of emotion. So I feel like you're experimenting at the moment. You may be searching for your Three of Cups, your soul tribe. But look at this. She has her hand over the cup. So there's also something that she's protecting. She, she's protecting her emotions. You know, she don't want to let herself get away from her. Because I feel like you're thinking about yourself. You're thinking um, how to put yourself first. And I feel like you're doing that and you're learning what needs to be released. What needs to be taken away so that you can focus on yourself. So that you become your own priority. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the Hierophants. The moon and the star. Okay, we have the five of pentacles. We have the ace of swords. And we have the moon again. Wow, okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like in this situation, Virgo, I feel like you may have thought that you could not be yourself. Maybe if you showed your true self that you would be unwanted. You wouldn't be as as wanted as if you were just going with the crowd. But I feel like you're you're making some sort of breakthrough with this moon. Look at this. The moon is clarifying the star and the moon. So that's very very beautiful. Um with the moon you are you have the ace of swords so i feel like some kind of you're having some kind of breakthrough some epiphany that you know is going to kind of boost you into these new ideas it's going to burst forward with these new changes because the moon is you know not 
truly seen the truth path that you are intended to walk. But the Ace of Swords is actually new ideas, new mental clarity, a breakthrough, you know, something that you're cutting through. You know, I feel like this is your truth. This is something that you are finally understanding and you're finally, you know, trying to gain the wisdom on the situation. With the star, you have the moon. So you have your healing. You have your balance. And I feel like with this moon card, I feel like you're slowly finding your path. You're slowly figuring out which way to go. Because look which way, what we have on the bottom. The fool. You're going on a new journey. You have this fiery new beginning because of some choices that you made. I feel like it's giving you more balance. You know, you're able to love. You're able to feel. You know, you do have the, the lovers on the bottom. So I feel like, you know, if you're open to love, love is here. Love is available for you. We have the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Cups. So, something that's coming that you may not be fully aware of. Now, it may be longer than the 48 hours, but I feel like it is on the way. So, let's get a little bit more clarity. We're going to go one more time. Okay, give me another message for Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know, please, for the next 48 hours? Okay, the tower. The Nine of Cups and the King of Cups. Okay, so I'm. Didn't we already have the Tower over here? I believe we did. Yeah, we have the Tower. So we have the the um, Ten of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and the Tower. So definitely, these are changes that needed to be made. But I feel like it is bringing you more contentment. It's bringing you more happiness. This is something that, you know, you were pursuing happiness, but now you've obtained it. You're, like, feeling more balanced, more nurtured, more supported. You know, you're, you're not on this emotional roller coaster all the time because of some kind of drama or, you know, someone who wants to be a shit starter, you know. I'm sorry, I just say it how I see it. Um, see, tell me more for this chariot. Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups. Give me more messages. What does Virgo need to know? Okay, we have the Hangman. We have the Queen of Cups. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like th this is something, whatever you had to sacrifice is bringing you healing, support, you know, is bringing you more emotional stability. I feel like you're more relaxed. And I also feel like you are kind of guarding what you hold dear. You're kind of protecting your energy more. You're holding something close to you. You know, you want more long-term security. To feel stable. To have the things that you truly desire. We have the, the judgment on the bottom. So I really feel like you've made this final decision. You've come into this realization that... This is best for your life's purpose, for, you know, what you are doing to move into your destined situation, you know, moving away from what you may have grown out of, what may not suit you any longer, you know. Okay, now we have the lovers. Wow, the three of cups. And the Five of Swords. Okay, so I feel like, you know, like I said before, 
If there's love that you're interested in, Virgo, you do have love. Love is being offered to you. And I feel like you do have time to celebrate. You do have a new soul tribe. You will meet people who are more like-minded, who have the same values, who have the same abilities. And I feel like you are gaining your, your, your strength, your victory. Because look at this. I'm looking at this, this card. He's taking those swords away from those soldiers. You know, there's no more conflict. They're running away in defeat. He's defeated them. He's taken away their swords. He has the victory. You know, so I, I feel like you're really victorious at the moment. And I feel like, you know, you have more stability than you really think. You have the Seven of Wands at the bottom. So this is some kind of protection that you're still holding up. That you are still, you know, um, looking for. You're looking to protect your energy. I feel like whatever you had to leave behind, you don't want to let back into your life again. I feel like that was full of drama. It may have been full of a lot of conflict or, you know, it, it just wasn't good for your soul at the moment. So I feel like that's the reason why you had to move away from that energy, to free yourself from that energy. Okay, we have awakening presence. The universe is with you. Wear the cloak of protection and love. Yes, Virgo, you are protected. And we have call to action take charge lead by example and walk your talk stand on your values stand on your morals and i feel like that's exactly what you're doing okay the next 48 hours virgo please okay work through your fears scorpio energy bring love into the situation wow Okay, okay, one more card for Virgo. One more card for Virgo, please, next 48 hours. Okay, we have learning experience, definitely. I feel like this is a learning experience. You, you actually go through this and you feel what's good for you and what's not. And sometimes we do grow out of our situation and we kind of change our soul tribe. We change the people that we, you know, surround ourselves with. Because sometimes, you know, as we grow, our values change, our spiritual journey changes, you know. So I, I, I feel like having courage and bravery in your situation, you, you know, you need to focus on you, Virgo. You need to set yourself as a priority. Okay? Next 48 hours, this is what you need to know. So, Virgo, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. Um, and until the next reading, Virgo, many blessings to you. Love and light.